Welcome to my channel. If I am to learn how to code again, what will I do differently? In today's video, this is what we are talking about. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you four bullet points of what I will do differently if I'm to start coding all over again. A little bit about myself. For you guys that don't know me, I'm a software engineer. I've been coding for the last five years and uh, I've been focusing more on front end, but just recently I started doing full stack once again. So what will I do differently if I'm going to start again? Well, well, well. <laughs> The one good thing that I'm going to be doing differently is I'm probably going to be reading more documentation. And uh, what do I mean by that? Like, as a junior developer, when you just start coding, you just basically want to get things done. But instead of actually understanding how things are supposed to work or how things are supposed to be connected together, you just dive straight into the code and then you end up just spending more time trying to figure it out rather than just reading about it and learning about it. And I'm saying this from my experience because, yeah, I have once been a junior developer and uh, it is really hard, I'm going to tell you, like coding without actually understanding what you are trying to do or how the syntax and semantics of the programming language you are trying to write works. It just kind of like kill the whole vibe and it just makes you stress out. It gives you a lot of headache. So, yeah, as a senior engineer, I'm going to advise you. If you are going to deep dive into coding, I will recommend you to read the documentation. Let's say you are learning a new language, let's say you are learning a new front-end framework, for example, React. Make sure you understand JavaScript. If you don't understand JavaScript, go to Code Academy, for example. Go to like uh, MDN online tools to actually read about JavaScript to make sure that you understand it. And after you have actually understand JavaScript, then you can actually go and look into React itself. React has its own official documentation. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. You have examples of what to do, what not to do, and so on. That's my first point. And then moving on to the second point, I'll probably Google more. What do I mean by that? Like, you could probably be wondering, like, okay, you said read documentation, and now you said, like, Google more. What do you mean by that? What I meant by that is, like, uh, instead of just thinking that there is a solution, like, you can find a solution in your head, it's just actually nice to Google your problem and hopefully you can find a potential solution to your problem. And then when you find a solution to your problem, try as much as possible to understand how that specific developer who wrote the solution actually derived that solution. What was the reason behind that solution itself? Because Googling will, will save you a lot of time and a lot of stress and it will also help you to kind of like understand things faster. Because if you are trying to write it yourself sometimes, it might take longer time for you. But when you Google it, you get the answer to your question and then you can try to understand what you have actually Googled. I'm not saying you should just Google copy and paste but without understanding, but Google copy and paste and make sure you actually understand the code that you have copied and pasted. And the top point which I'm going to be talking about is actually getting a mentor in the field that you are trying to get into. This is a very interesting one. I mean, I've seen a lot of videos about what would I do different, what would I do differently if I'm going to start again, but they just talk about mindset and so on and so forth. Nobody talks about practicality. To actually become a good software developer, you need a mentor. You need somebody to put you in the right direction. And what does this actually mean? This, mean, this means like you need somebody to tell you like, hey, you're actually doing something wrong. You need somebody to tell you like, hey, it's not supposed to be done like that. It's supposed to be done like this. Uh, I know this because from my experience, I didn't have any mentor. Like when I started out, I had to learn a lot of things uh, myself. And I, I started doing things like the wrong way. And because of that, it actually took me a lot of time to actually figure some things out or to actually be able to understand something. But then I, I got into a company, I started working, I have like senior engineers to look at my code, to review my code, to tell me what I'm doing wrong and so on and so forth. And then my life became so much better. I know what to learn, I know how to learn it, I know like what guys are looking for in code and so on and so forth. And that's like the most interesting part. Speaking of mentorship, if you really need a mentorship, let's say you want to go into front-end development, for example, I run a front-end development course for my students. I've been doing that for a couple of months now. If you would like to get in, you can follow me on Instagram, you'll find the link below, or you can, you see the handle popping up right there, you can also follow me right now. Moving to the last point, which I'm going to be giving in this video, is actually to leave the code when everything is not working. Back in the days, when I was still a junior engineer, I suffered a lot because I didn't know when to go away. I didn't know when I'm actually exhausted. I didn't know when I'm supposed to actually close my computer. Because sometimes you've been trying to solve something for a very long time and you, you, you just can't go away from your computer because you really want to solve it. But the problem now is that you have actually overworked yourself, your brain is stressed out, you need a break, you need to take a break. And taking a break, going away for, for a couple of hours, setting your mind to something else like 
helps you to actually refresh your memory and then sets your mind, puts your mind back into perspective of, of what was actually the problem that you are trying to solve. So these are the four points that I think is very, very important. And I think I will probably do differently if I'm trying to learn how to code again. If you really like this video or this video has added value to your life, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. There will be more content coming about regarding software development, breaking into coding, learning how to code, and actually doing some live coding on this YouTube channel. Follow me for more and hope to see you on the next one. Bye for now.